What is up, good people? Maybe you guys will want to see me. What's up, you guys? I'm going to close this door so you don't see the reflection. We're in the living room tonight. The living room. We're in the dining room tonight. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, we're going to continue... Forget where the camera's at. We're going to continue working on my diorama. But I'm not really planning on doing any brickwork tonight. Um, I'm going to do something else. One, we're going to uh, texture. We're going to texture the brick. And then um, we're going to lay out the sidewalk. And then we are going to um, probably texture that as well. And we'll see how much time we have. And then if all goes well, the next live stream, we might start getting into some paint. Um, hopefully. So uh, the first thing that I wanted to do before we got into texturing is um, putting the sidewalk together. So let me get that chunk. So basically, if you're not familiar with sidewalk construction, um, sidewalks are, the curb is typically about six inches high. Um, and so typically, you know, I'm working with this half inch or one inch stuff. And I've got some of the quarter inch foam board, but that's not half inch. So I took this piece of one inch foam board and I cut it that way. It was a pain in the butt. Um, I might post a picture or two of how I did it up on Instagram at some point. It was it was not fun to try and because I didn't I didn't have a power tool or anything. Oh I should say hi to everybody. Pfft, what am I what am I doing? Alright, so I'm not looking at the camera because my screen is right over here, but we got Rogue Films, uh Davidoka. Uh, I probably pronounced that wrong. Navarro Carlos, what up? Clutch 424. Hey I saw you over on Doodog. Um Jeb Blue 68 Welcome, welcome, and there we go. So, sound off if you guys are here. Hit the like button because, so the more, apparently the more activity there is on a live stream, the more likely it will show up in um, the whole YouTube results stuff. So hit the like button and comment a lot, even if you guys want to just talk to each other. That is totally cool. So, but then, anyway, basically I took a saw and I cut this down about the middle. And, um, and then I took some sandpaper and kind of sanded this a little bit smooth. So I gotta figure out which piece I'm gonna use for my sidewalk piece. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one. That one's really scratched up. We might use this piece. A little hole is there, but we might be able to work with that and turn it into something else. So, this is going to be a fairly large, let's drop this down. Hey, I want to also, what do you guys think? Tech, Chuckers, Brain Blast. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was cool. Anyway, Vintage X Collectibles, welcome, welcome. So basically, um, last time I put these magnets in a little premature. So... What we got to do is we got to pop those suckers off. Not too uh, difficult. Um, we're just going to pop these guys out because they're in the wrong spot now that I realized I need them somewhere else. So what is everybody up to tonight besides watching me? So, so this is going to be the same format as uh, the other two live streams, basically just ch 
chilling out, working on the dial. Nothing too spectacular. Jeez, that guy is in there. Oh, come on out. So did everybody's uh, football teams win over the weekend? I, apparently mine won. Apparently the Vikings won. But um, I haven't really followed football in ages. Uh, I used to play football in high school. Uh, but... You know, I haven't really kept up with that too much. Julio, welcome. We're just um, fixing one of my mistakes is all. I guess I don't need to be super careful with this because we're going to cover it. But I don't want to be too crazy with this. Just because I don't like making things messy if I don't have to. But that's the nice thing about dioramas is they are usually pretty um, forgiving. This, at least if you are okay with not having, you know, absolute perfection, which I don't need it to be perfect per se. But I do want to reuse these magnets. So I should have gotten this done before I went live, but I forgot. So you guys are going to have to bear with me as I dangerously use the utility blade without the handle. All right, it's a little quiet in the chat, guys. Or is it just that mine's not working? That's just that mine isn't working. Here in Buffalo, we all know. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Gonna make a stop motion video, but have dug through your crates like four times and can't find the shockwave that you wanted to use. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, it's never fun when you can't find the... Uh, figures that you need only sports you watch is boxing boxing's awesome porter versus garcia fight past saturday watch that and me at nerdcon yes what's up nightshade welcome welcome to the show um you know i used to watch i didn't watch a lot of boxing but because i didn't have cable growing up and we don't have cable now um but I remember going uh, to a friend's house. They, um, they did the pay-per-view. I believe it was Holyfield and the guy from the UK. God, what was that guy's name? I don't remember who won. I think it was Holyfield. Maybe it was Tyson. I don't remember. I remember they had a um, they had a projector, and they projected it up on a big, you know, eight ten foot screen. It was super cool. Yeah, it was just it was just really cool. All right, we got that off. Awesome. What did I pick up at Nerd Nowcon? Jeez, my table is shaking around a lot. So the unfortunate part was I didn't I didn't pick up much. Picked up a couple of comic books for um, the kids. They uh, really wanted a couple of those comics. And aside from that, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot that really excited me. So, um, yeah, I didn't pick up much of anything for me. There was some Lego sets that we got for the kids and some other little toys. I think we're going to use this one. Um, so, yeah, it was not that it was a bummer. I'm going to do some sanding, you guys, so bear with the uh, loudness. Um, it, it's not that there wasn't good stuff there. Um, I just, there was so much going on that uh, I wound up getting distracted. And by the time um, we'll sand first. 
By the time I got to the point where I thought I might uh, go back and buy some stuff, um, I wound up having to go. And it was probably for the best because they didn't have anything that I was technically looking for. There, ooh, that was loud. There were no, um, there was pretty much no NECA. And that was what I really wanted. I was going to get some Predator figures. And I was going to get, um, what else was I going to get? Mostly Predator stuff is what I really, really wanted. And I was, I was actually aiming to maybe get a, uh, a Mezco figure. Nobody had any of that. So I hope it's okay that you guys don't see my face as I'm working. Um, so I am not at liberty to say what I am building. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I was going to do this. So I apologize for that, but I am not going to share specifically what I'm making. It is a secret. But what I am constructing right now is a sidewalk. So if you can see that, this will be the street. This will be where the building is sidewalk. And the place that I am replicating has a fairly deep sidewalk. Um, I don't know exactly how deep, but um, it's, it's pretty good size. So I just assumed it was around nine to 10 feet. So that's what I'm going with roughly. So we're going to move this aside and we're actually going to sand this edge because if we know, we know that curbs aren't perfectly a, a perfect corner. So we got to sand that um, round. I got to get my sanding block. So we'll, we'll sand this up and then we'll start cutting some of the lines so it can start looking a little bit more like an actual um, sidewalk. I'll clean that up in a little bit. Try and do this so that you guys can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Basically, I'm just going to round this off a little bit, just enough to make it look kind of like a, a um, curve. So bear with the uh, noise. You know what? I'll turn this, the microphone away.
right, that's pretty darn close. Turn the microphone back towards me. All right, what did I miss in the comments? Ah, NECA just released a giant-sized Deadpool figure at Target. Oh, really? Is it the um, one-quarter scale? Um, because I've got the original, the first one, and is it the red pool or is it the um, is it the X Force or is it the special red one that has like the extra head or something like that? I don't can't remember. Oh, and then got to go. needs. All right, Navarro, I'll probably missed you already, but I'll see you later. Didn't see the price tag. Uh, yeah, so if it's the quarter scale, they're normally they were normally 99 when they first started putting them out, but now they raised them to like 119, 120. So if it's the same ones. But yeah, I have <clears throat> what do I have? I yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the original red one. And it is awesome. It's still probably like my absolute favorite figure. All right, here we go. So next up. So if you're not also familiar with the construction um, standards for sidewalks, which I wasn't until a few minutes ago, um, typically the uh, uh, you know sidewalks are about six inches high, and then that means that it's basically a one twelfth scale, I believe, for how long they are. So it's six inches, um, six feet, I should say. Six feet long are the actual curb pieces. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to look at my, I am going to look at my uh, pictures. And I, I can't show you guys because I just can't. Because I want to see how much of this is sidewalk and how much of this is actually um, brick. Shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Most of the sidewalk is brick. Ugh, that means all of this is going to have to be brick. I'm not going to do all that tonight. But I am going to get this piece done. So we're going to go in about a half an inch, I believe. Yeah, from here and get our little curb piece. I don't want... I don't want to do that much brick work tonight. That's just too much. Alrighty. So we got our half inch dot there. And we're going to have a half inch dot there. And we'll have a half inch dot right over here. Is that going to be too big? It'll be good enough. Good enough, I believe. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this. Get ourselves our curb going. And since it is brick, then I don't really have to worry about lining stuff up so that, you know, if it was a regular sidewalk, I'd want the seams to kind of match with brick. It doesn't matter. So... That's a positive, except if you guys have already seen, I've done way more than enough brickwork on this project. I think I did the math. I put it up on Instagram. I'll look it up and see how many bricks I've already cut so far on this particular project. But it is ridiculous. I think it's in the... It's definitely in the 2,000 range. It might be in the 3,000 range. So what do you guys think of the uh, lighting in the kitchen? I thought that, or in the dining room, I thought that would um, work out a little bit better. We have slightly better lighting up here. My wife is going to be gone until, I believe, 10 p.m. or a little after 10 p.m. 
Um, she and her mom got tickets to the premiere of, uh-oh, I've got a visitor. What's up? Getting something to drink? Oh, okay. Go ahead, and you might have to fill both of those. You can fill them downstairs if you want. You want to fill them up here? Okay. We've just got a water issue is all. All right. So this, I believe, I am. I can't tell you. See, I can't even tell my children what this is. Anyway, um, my wife is at the premiere of the Mayo Clinic... Um, documentary made by none other than Ken Burns. So if you are familiar with who Ken Burns is, so 18 plus six. What is 18 plus six, you guys? It's 24. Pfft. Okay. So I could do six feet and do four of them. So, so yes, my wife wound up getting or my wife's mom got two tickets to that premiere, and that is where they are at right now. It's really cool, I thought. So, yeah, so Ken Burns, if you're not familiar, is a world-famous documentarian filmmaker. Um, made the probably one of the most famous documentaries that he did was the Vietnam documentary. So Mayo Clinic now has the ability to say that they have had a documentary made for them by Ken Burns, which I thought is pretty cool. Cool, man, that came out perfect. Awesome. Alrighty, we got 13 of you guys on here. Awesome. All right. So what do we got? Once thought I wanted to get into building dioramas, but I don't think I have the patience for it. I would basically design them with decor already made from the craft store, trees, walls, etc. You know, I really should do that. I should go buy a lot of those uh, props, and I may have to for this one. Because this one I am planning on making or getting some sort of props. I need to get like a, um, uh, a parking meter or make a parking meter. Uh, I need a tree. There's going to be a big tree coming out over here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, I need to get some of those. Yeah. You have a lot of patience and determination. <laughs> I do. I do. It's, it's, I don't know if it's patience or what it is, but it's something that's for sure. I enjoy it. It's it's kind of calming, sort of. All right, so here's the tricky part. Basically, I need to be able to cut this down and around. So, see if we can do this without mucking it up. We'll start up there. Uh oh, where's my other mark? Dang it. I think it's right here. Let's see. No, where the heck is my mark? I lost my mark, you guys. It's never good when you can't figure out where you marked it. Oh, there it is. If I lose it again, that's just ridiculous. That's one of the reasons why I usually try not to use the side with the writing. But in this particular project, it makes a little bit more sense for this piece because the other side is really, really rough. So, so be it. BJ Palm 1994 in the house. How's it going, dude? So, just going to connect this. There. 
That'll work. So if you're new on the uh, stream, we're just constructing the sidewalk right now for this project. Um, what we may do is map out where my tree will go um, because I can't brick that, obviously. And we may map out a couple other things once I check my <coughs> check my um, reference picture. All right, how are we gonna do this? All righty. Oh, I didn't quite that get that right. All right, finish that. Perfect. So, I uh, if you're not aware, and I know that some of you are because you were so kind as to watch some of my other videos already, um, you saw that I went to the first ever Nerdin' Out Con here in my hometown, Rochester, Minnesota. Um, I have started working on editing the video for it, the uh, the hunt video and what have you. There was a lot of really cool stuff there. Definitely a lot of cool stuff there. Um, and I think the video so far is coming out pretty darn good. I am I'm pretty pleased with it. So hopefully I'll have that out maybe by the end of the week or something or middle of the week would be ideal. All right. Anybody else, anybody working on any dioramas themselves right now? That would be cool. Always like it when people are working on their projects alongside with, with me. All right. So, okay. We can do that part. So, what we need to do is we need to find how big a cobblestone typically is because the way that they have it is they have a, a line of them that go all the way. And um, so I can, I can match that right now. But I bet you I'm not going to be able to see how they go around the tree. So I'm going to have to make a judgment. Ooh, there we go. Uh, we'll just have to make a judgment call on that. But basically, the tree is right on the edge here. So we're going to figure that how big is a tree? Four foot? So if it's four foot by four foot, how big is that going to make it? Let's just kind of draw this out. And actually, I wonder if I could put some tape so I don't have to draw it out. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some tape. Need to know how to send me some pics. So, uh, Clutch, you can send me some pictures by going to my Instagram. <laughs> which is probably backwards on the screen maybe, but it's uh, my Instagram is tech Chuckers brain blast. So you could post them publicly or you can go to the tech Chuckers brain blast Facebook page and you could message me. And then that would be a, um, uh, a private message. So those are the two options for how you could send those to me. One is public and one is not. Um, so yeah, I would, um, I would definitely like to see what you're working on and I'm just going to post on Facebook cause I forgot to do that. Uh, we're live right now. Bye and say hello. Sorry, I forgot to post this earlier. To invite people to join. Got to do the whole social media thing. There, let's post it. 
There we go. Bam. All right. Now I'm going to go find some tape because I need some tape. Okay, let's find some tape. All right, we're back. I found some tape. So what I think we might do is we might bring this in just a little bit. Actually, let's see how big this is to see. So I don't want it to cover up too much. Yeah, I think if I put it right here. Oh, but wait, that doesn't go in all the way. Yeah. I think it's going to go turn it so you guys can see too. So this is basically what my life is like as I'm trying to design this. Is I need to figure out some of these things that you can't see in the pictures. So it's basically just eyeballing stuff and making guesses. Hoping you get it right. All right, so this is how it's going to be. So if we put it like that, we're going to have the tree over here. I'm thinking we put it almost all the way over to the corner. Maybe just like an inch in. That way then I can do a little bit of brick around it. Yeah. We'll probably make it about that big. There. Is the tree in a planter box? No, it is not in a planter box. That would have made it a lot easier. Because then I could have just made the made it the way that I wanted it. Now, the one good thing is, is if I screw it up, um, there's dirt that, that kind of goes up to the, to, the, uh, to the trunk. So I can cover it up with some dirt. So it won't be a too big of a deal. What up, Loner McBookworm? I like that name. That's a good name. New to the channel, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. And we got Doo Dog, Doo Dog reviews in the house. Never tried, you've never tried it with all the custom action figures you've done, Doo Dog. I don't know. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like the, uh, you know what? I think we might need to do three inches, and I think we're going to need to put it right here. I always feel like the dioramas are easier than the um, custom action figures would be. I grab my scissors. Of course, I never have everything I need. You should give it a shot, though, because um, if you can do the action figures, the dioramas aren't too much different. So we're just going to try making a three inch, a three inch incision near the sternum. No, that's not right. All right. So two and one, two, three. We'll see if three by three will kind of work. That way then we can kind of move this around and see exactly what it's going to look like and whether or not we'd like it. All 
All right. Oop, let's get this out of the way so we're not putting dents in anything. Oh, now I can't even see my dang numbers or lines. This doesn't need to be super exact. I'm just trying to get an idea. One, two, three. All right, so. And this is just really, really cheap off-brand name, <laughs> off-name brand uh, painter's tape. It's garbage. Clean release. More like don't stick. That's copyrighted, trademarked. <laughs> it's a terrible name. All righty, three. We want to get this at three inches. And we need to make sure that we're going to have enough room. If we make our tree this big. So, I've never made a tree before. But I think I'm going to try making a tree from scratch. We'll see how that goes. It's either going to be awesome. Or look really, really stupid. I think that's going to be enough space. That's going to give me about four inches, which in real person terms is four feet. Good enough. Close enough, we'll say. Okay. Decision made. Perfect. So that means that there is a strip of bricks that go all the way across like so. We're going to go ahead and do that, um, or at least do part of it. But, yeah, we'll call that. We'll put it at three-quarter. I think that'll be safe, yeah. So what I have to do when I'm doing this is I can't just start my bricks here and then start them here for the rest of this. Otherwise, when they get to around this section, when they would come together, it, it's not gonna work. So I gotta be careful about doing that. But all I am doing is just doing this one uh, row. And I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make up a size. Since these are cobblestones, and it doesn't have to be exact since I don't have a good um, reference pick. So I'm doing right now on these, these are sized at four and three quarter. I think I did five millimeters high and about 17 millimeters wide. We're not doing that. We're going to do maybe about... Oh, let's say, let's take a look and see. We're going to do a test sizing because I'm not confident on this one. So we'll do it on the back of this. Actually, let's just do it on the back of this. So we do six. And that would really be the height. What was the height of mine? Yeah. If we do six millimeters. Bear with me, you guys. This is just how it works. So we would do about, let's say 20, 10, 20 in length, 10, 20, and we'll do something like that. And then if we did, I don't want to do five, but maybe we do 
seven. What was the height on those? Four and a quarter. Four and three quarter. Seven. We'll see what's that going to look like. I think that might work. It might be a little chunky. And we might want to. Let's try it at. Not at five, if we do six. It's got to be just right. Otherwise, it'll look dumb. Don't want it to look dumb. Hmm. Gotta make a decision, you guys. Gotta make a decision. It's almost imperceptible, the difference. Well, let's go with 20. Ten, twenty, and ten and twenty. Be so nice if this stuff was just all measured out for you already on the internet when you're trying to copy something. That way, then you don't have to make the decision. That would be so nice. All right, let's just check and make sure there isn't anything else super important in front that I need to be aware of. Now, there is a light post, but if I decide to put a light post on, I can just put it on top of the brick. So that's not going to be an issue. What do I do with my drink? All right, what have I missed? You'll try one day. Well, you darn well better, sir. <laughs> Any good hauls? Clutch none. Picked up Bishop last week. I still need to get Bishop, but I'm hoping that I can find him for uh, retail. We'll see. Finally found Thor, Black Widow, and Black Knight. Very nice. Got a Silver Surfer and a Spider Ham as well. Wow, look at that. And still need Black Knight. Yeah, you know, I, I stopped by the, um, what do you call it, the uh, duh, 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 duh. Five Below in my town the other day, hoping that they might have the Guardians of the Galaxy wave for five bucks like everybody else has been finding. Nope, nothing. So, because the only one that I have picked up from that wave was Nova, Kid Nova, because I absolutely love Nova. I love the Nova core. I don't, if you were to ask me anything about them, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not likely to be very good with the, uh, the facts. Um, for whatever reason, I do not remember things. <laughs> I don't remember stuff. Um, at all, ever. So, it's, uh, that's just kind of my thing, I guess. I wish I had a better memory. That would be so nice if I did. Okay, so let's measure out three inches. There we go. Did I miss? I even cut there. How'd that happen?
You know what? I should, um, you know what I should do sometime? Maybe this is a dumb idea. You guys tell me if this is a dumb idea. But I was just thinking, you know, it'd be nice to have some music for, uh, for these live streams. But the way that the uh, Google thing works is it does not, um, it doesn't really allow for, for that. Um, at least not with the tool that I'm using, the te technology that I'm using. So I was just thinking, I should create a Spotify playlist that um, I, could, I could share with everybody. And then you could listen to the music that I would have played had I been able to. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a fun idea, but it's probably kind of dumb. All right, what do we got? Local comic book store has Silver Surfer for $42. I am going to say not worth it. Um, I, there are very few Marvel Legends that I would ever consider worth much more than 25 to 30 bucks. I, I mean, granted, I'm cheap. So, you know, there's plenty of other people that it is worth it to them. Uh, and that's the thing about it is it's really about what's worth what it's worth to you because any other person can say nah not worth it to me but if it's worth it to you then i say get it but i personally would not pay 40 bucks for a marvel legend i just i just wouldn't at least not a single carded figure now, build a figure, I would. All right. And, and that's the thing is, I, I wouldn't doubt if you'll find that... Uh, You'll find him, or you'll find someone on, a, say, a Facebook group or something that's willing to sell them to you at a decent price. So um, I would say hold out for a better price. That is the wise, wise words of Tech Chucker, a.k.a. me. Yeah, keep checking eBay. Um, what I would do is is just put a word out on on the Facebook groups. There's always people out there that um, are more than willing to hook a person up with a uh, you know a decent deal as long as you're willing to pay the shipping. Um, there's a lot of people that'll that'll do it. So I would I wouldn't I wouldn't spend forty bucks. Now if you'll pay the shipping. You know, that's going to put it at, with the tax, probably 30 to 32. Um, and, and that can be worth it. Uh, if you are okay with it being loose, then the shipping should be a lot less. So, <sighs> yeah, I still haven't seen them in my town yet. They may have hit my town, but I have not seen them. So, what did I say? I think I was going to do like six and a half to seven. I definitely can't do 10 millimeters. Sorry, I'm way off. Not off camera, but I'm getting there. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I need to do the math. All right, because I don't want to have like one thin sliver. All right, all right, all right. We'll measure. We got 450 all the way to, so we got 450 plus 60, that's 510. 
So 510 roughly. Five hundred and ten. You know what? Where's my phone? Come on, you guys. Where's my phone? I need my calculator. Seriously, you guys. Where's my phone at? What'd you guys do with it? <laughs> huh. I do not know. I will be right back because I need that just in case my wife calls. Well, that's quite the mystery. I have no idea where it's went, where it went, you guys. I literally had it because I was watching Do Dog's live stream just before. Oh, nobody tell him where his phone is at. Is it on camera? That would be hilarious. That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. That's my ah. It's under the building. That was my um, Kevin from the office. All right, so I was going to do, I've got 560 and 560. I was going to divide that by about seven. And what's that going to give me? Ooh, that comes out perfect. It'll give me 80 of them. So I guess that's what we're going to go with. Nice. But we're going to start it here. And... You know what we're going to do so we don't have to make so many marks? Here's a little trick that I learned. We're going to have to do it on this side. Is measure out on the back. See if you'll be able to see this. So I'm going to measure about 7 millimeters, which is where I want to be. I'm going to make a little mark right here on my ruler. That way, then, when I'm measuring, I can just line it up, I think. I think that'll work. Eh, something like that. I think that'll work. So I'm doing about seven millimeters. All right, so where's my where's my cutting machine? We'll see if I actually like this method because I don't have a line there. I don't know if I like that method. All right, I don't feel comfortable with that. Dang it! Bummer. Would have worked great. And seven. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. All right, I did promise that I wasn't going to do bricks all night, so I'm only going to do a few of these. And then we're going to get to doing some other stuff.
So, is anybody going to New York Comic Con? That's coming up in October. I would love to go one day, but that's not going to be anytime super soon. Or if you're not going this year, have you ever gone? I don't think I ever mentioned, but uh, so I lucked out, maybe not lucked out, but um, because I had done that interview with the guys at Nerdin' Out, um, I went in to get my Sunday ticket, and um, the one guy just said, oh, keep your money. So that was nice to be able to um, kind of get that little perk. That was very nice. He did not have to do that. So I very much appreciated that. Never been. You know, I'd like to go. I would really like to go to uh, New York Comic Con. I think I'd rather go to New York Comic Con than um, San Diego Comic Con. I don't know. I just... Not a huge California guy. We went went with the family. Oh gosh. I want to say I was probably 12. It was cool, but it's not my cup of tea. All right, so <laughs> you went to Dest Detroit's last last year. I saw the typo, Weisberg. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fill up. My throat's getting a little sore. All right, so is anybody else in school like I, I am, be it either high school or um, college? I, uh, you know, fall semester just started, and I've, I'm taking two classes right now. Um, I am taking a macroeconomics. No, microeconomics. No, shoot. I don't remember which one it is. Um, I think I'm taking the micro. <laughs> I don't even remember now. Um, and I am taking applied calculus. And I have to say, the applied calculus is not fun. I am not enjoying it. So basically, this first two weeks have been or supposed to be review. It's reviewing um, all of the algebra and whatnot that we are supposed to have known and remembered. Well, the last algebra class that I have taken was close to 10 years ago. It was college algebra. So needless to say, it was not very fresh in my mind at all. And uh, so what do we got? Wisebird, you're in school. Um, I hope all is going well for you in school. Hopefully. It's uh, not going as difficulty, difficultly as it is for me. Um, so this review stuff basically has 
felt like um, new to me. Not all of it, but but a fair amount of it. And just remembering the terms and the and the formulas, all of that was just is just kind of. And then just getting into just getting into the swing of it. Now I, I took some classes over the summer. Um, I took a cinema as communication class. That was pretty cool. Um, it's a three credit class over five weeks. So basically watching upwards of like 35, maybe 40, mostly full length movies in five weeks and writing. I mean, it wasn't a lot of writing, but that amount in that short of time can kind of burn you out on, you know, I just didn't really want to watch any movies after that for a little while. And then I had a critical reading and writing class. And that was a four credit class in five weeks. And my gosh, it's, um, it would it would not have been hard if it was over the course of a regular semester, but in five weeks, having to write essentially a research paper every week, that can get a little daunting, but I made it through it. And now we're on a regular length semester, so I imagine I should be able to do this just fine, even though it's pretty difficult math for me. For other people, it's probably super easy stuff, but I don't know. I never was huge on math. I mean, I like it. I like it when it, I like when the equations turn out and I start getting the right answer and I start getting it, then it's cool. But I never understand like what is the purpose of this stuff? Like what 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 would I do with this in the real world? So I don't know. So Weisberg, what are you studying? You said you're in school. What are you studying? Oh, what else did I miss? Uh I wanted to go to a convention. You know, I bet you there are maybe there's small ones, but I bet you there's some nearby. Gonna try hard to go to one next year. I would highly recommend it. Went to Detroit's. I already saw that. How was uh, Detroit's? What was the name of it? And was it cool? Would you recommend it? Would you recommend people travel to it, I guess, is the biggest thing. Because if you wouldn't recommend that people would travel there, then... And, and you know, sometimes it's okay that a con might just be a small, a small one that isn't really something that a lot of people would want to go to specifically, but you know, they're still fun. And when you were there, did you see anybody really cool? Did you, were there any meet and greets? Um, anything like that? <clears throat> we still got 11 of you on here. Awesome. Always happy to have people here to participate in this uh, whatever it is. All right, called Motor City, Motor, bleh, I can't talk, Motor City Comic Con, and it's really big, I've heard of it, and cool, but the ticket prices keep going up, yeah, that's, that's always the pain. Oh, so you're taking math, science, language, a lot more, so you're full, full-time school, it sounds like. I am only part-time, I couldn't, I couldn't handle doing full-time, that, that just would not work. Um, with working full time, having family, um, yeah, I just I wouldn't be able to do full time. Plus, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Um, yeah, just 
would be too expensive. So, and the nice thing is, so I'm going, I am going to a community college, community and technical college, uh, to get, it's called a two plus two at this school anyway. Uh, but basically they have a deal with Winona State um, College or University where this technical school will um, provide classes, the, the general, you know, liberal arts type classes, or at least quite a few of them. So that way then you can save some money and you can get your two-year associate's degree and then you continue on to complete your bachelor's degree. So that is what I am doing. So I'll come out, come out of it with two degrees. I've already got a technical associate's degree. So I'll have a third degree. What I will do with all of these degrees, who knows? Oh, my chat just went away. I will wait for it to come back, I guess. I don't know why it does that. Because it's not because people are inactive, because I just saw someone post something. So, I don't know. All right, I don't think I'm going to finish this part because I really want to get my other. Oops, I'm starting to get cut a little bit too far. I really want to get my, uh, what do you call it? My um, wall bricks. I want to get those textured because I want to show you guys what I do for that. It's really easy. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you start to finish what I do. Oop, that one didn't get cut very straight. Oh well. Okay. So we're going to call this one for now. How's that look? Eh, it's hard to see anything with all the writing, but it's coming along. All righty. So next up, what we are going to do is we are going to texturize uh, some of this, or all of this, I guess. And what we are going to do is I've got a cup of sand. Yep, just regular old sand. Um, found this out on the street right in front of my house. But we can't just use this sand as is. I need to get the really, really big chunks out and only use the small chunks. So I'm gonna go find a plate or something that I can sift this with. Sandman, yes. Um, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. Be and the reason that I'm remaking this is because I lost I lost my other one that I had made. All right, so I think what we'll do we'll start off just by taking this and we'll just kind of let the small stuff filter through. Or smaller stuff. I mean, if you had a, um, what do they call it, a sieve or whatever, that would work a heck of a lot better than this. But in a pinch, this will work. Now, for this particular project, I don't want, I don't want it to be super. Um, deep bumps, I guess is what you call it. So we're going to, we're going to go through this a couple of times. All right. 
let's do this. We've got a couple Dixie cups. Now we're gonna just dump this in. We'll throw away the excess when we get throw the stuff outside when we're through. All right, so I want to go a little bit smaller now. Let's see how this is going to work. This cup is a lot. Let's use this cup again. Basically, I want to get this. I want to get it to down to the smaller rocks so that I can have a little bit more consistent of a texture. And obviously, if I had like a screen of some sort, that would be much more ideal. But instead, we're just doing it this way. And you don't need a huge amount. some of this grass out. Not that the grass is really going to cause any issues. Grab a couple of these big ones that I don't want. That go through. Let's make a little bit more. All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit more through. That's probably going to be good enough. Perfect. Okay. So now then, what we need, let's grab a piece of paper. Piece of paper. And we'll just spread some of this out on here. That way then I have a nice flat surface. Get rid of some of the grass. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just take a piece of duct tape. Since I have a fair amount of surface area that I want to do, I'm gonna try and make a bigger one. I have some more of this left. I'm basically just going to stick it on. It's a very, very simple process. Oop, except when it sticks to the paper. So obviously the bigger the piece of tape, the more surface area you can do in a smaller amount of time, which is helpful in a project of this, I guess, size. Really kind of want to get this in there so that it's got a nice density of little rocks together. I can already feel that there's some bigger rocks in here that I don't think I'm going to want. Okay. Normally I don't use duct tape. Normally I use um, painter's tape. 
regular good painter's tape, but since I don't have good painter's tape, this will have to do. So I'm going to pick out some of my bigger rocks that I don't really want that made it through. And, you know, you can be picky or not picky. It depends on what you're looking for. My particular project is not, um, not going to have a huge amount of, uh, I guess, texture. So, fill a couple of those spots in. Perfect. All right, so I'll give you a little closer up look once I get this cleaned up. And then we might um, we might close this out once we uh, once we finish this up because my wife will be coming home relatively soon, I guess. And as usual, I haven't made near as much progress as I would have liked, but so here is what it looks like. So and that's not going to focus, but oh, there we go. Basically, just a bunch of rocks stuck on there. So here we go. All right. When you think the glue is dry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what, what did I miss? They sell two by two sections so you don't have to buy a full sheet. Yep. Think you're talking about the foam. I'll buy the foam. Yep. Ba, ba, ba. Home Depot. I get mine at Home Depot typically. Burn your finger with a hot glue gun. Yeah, that's um, that will happen a lot. All right. So basically just lay this on and press down and you kind of want to move it around different spots so you don't one you don't want to have too consistent of a pattern so basically just kind of rubbing this in to make sure that it's pressing into this stuff and if you stick around too much in one spot you're going to start getting um Especially when you put your paint on, you're going to see some really weird patterns show up or maybe not patterns, but you're just going to have a weird, uh, a weird look. And so you want to have it relatively consistent as much as you can. But, you know, it's not the end of the world if it's not 100% perfect. And if you do it too much, um, then you're going to wind up just kind of pressing everything down, which winds up smoothing the thing out. So you don't want to do too much and then wind up <laughs> basically back to a flat surface. All right, Clutch, have a great night and have a good day at work tomorrow or tonight. I think you said you got to work in the morning early. So have a good night. Thank you for joining. All right, so basically you should be able to look. Oh, I've got almost nothing there. If you basically angle it a little bit in the light, then you can see where you've either missed um, or need to add just a little bit more. Just kind of angle it. See if you're getting it the way that you like. And obviously you're going to have rocks that fall off as you're doing this. And so over time you'll have to make another one and another one. The other thing that you can do is you can take a pencil or a wooden dowel of some sort and just cake it in, in uh, rocks or glue and then roll it around in the rocks. And then you can just roll the pencil along as well. And this is really good for uh, a little bit more detailed work. So uh, I've got one somewhere, but I 
I don't remember. It must be in my other bin somewhere. But that would be the one that I have is the pencil one that I have is considerably smaller, so it wouldn't work very well for these walls because it just wouldn't. All right, let me see. That's looking pretty good. We'll see if you can see it. Uh, you might be able to see some of the detail there if it would focus. Yeah, you should be able to see some of it maybe if it's on a big enough screen. But so let's go ahead and get this. Now I need to make sure that I am careful not to push down too hard on this. Otherwise, all my work will be or not, and will be broken. What would suck? All righty, so if you are still on watching, I appreciate that so entirely much. And if you have not yet subscribed and or hit the like button, I would so, so much appreciate if you did either one or both of those things. Um, I'm going to probably call this a night here in just a minute, um, just because I think my wife will probably be rolling home pretty soon. And... I'm going to want to talk to her about that movie that they just saw. So uh, if you weren't on while uh, I was talking about it, my wife is at the premiere viewing of um, the uh, documentary about the Mayo Clinic by Ken Burns. Yeah, so Ken Burns did a documentary about Mayo Clinic, and so my wife and her mom got tickets to go, so that is where they are at right now. All right, we got a couple more likes. That's awesome. Thank you, you guys. All righty, folks, so I think I'm going to call this. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, for chatting, making uh, this work go by that much quicker, more tolerable than if you weren't here. So I appreciate it. Have yourselves a good night. And I will see you guys later.